Stampers. I'm Kelly Etchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Now I just got a notification on the top of my screen that I have a low network connection. So I don't know what that's all about, but I am going to pop myself up here on the screen so I can see if you, oh, there's Connie. Haley's watching. Hi, Haley. So did you guys see the photo I posted of Haley's um, baby nursery? She also posted some more photos in there today of the nursery, at some different shots, and oh my gosh, to die for, right? It is so stinking adorable. And um, they're keeping the baby's name a secret. They have a name all picked out. We know the middle name is gonna be Lee because my dad's middle name was Lee. My mom's middle name is Lee. Um, Jared's grandmother's name is, or grandfather's name is Lee. His grandmother's middle name is Lee. And I, is there another Lee in there, Haley? I can't remember, but there's a whole bunch of Lees in there. So the baby's middle name is gonna be Lee, and it kind of, um, you know, is after everybody. And they're not telling us what the um, baby's first name is gonna be. So, she got a wooden um, cutout of the baby's name and it's hanging on the wall in the nursery. And I know the manager, Haley, of your apartment complex and I'm sure she would let me in so I can see that name ahead of time. Just saying. <laughs> I would totally never do that, but I could. <laughs> All right, Sarah said she is having a bad internet connection tonight on an AT&T internet connection. That's what I have. Um, thank you, Lynn says Haley's nursery looks so cute. She is the best decorator. Like her decorating skills are amazing. She should be designing for Pinterest. I'm not even kidding. Um, and I've been consulting her with some of the things that I've been picking up to kind of redecorate our house because my Anna is redecorating her new house. My Haley is redecorating or decorating her new apartment. I shouldn't say redecorating, but decorating. I am in the decorating bug. I've gotten that bug too. So I've been doing a little decorating. I shared my new laundry room with you guys. So it's been kind of fun. I picked up another piece the other day at Kohl's um, to hang next to a big, uh, it's like a big old looking door and it's got panels in it that are mirrors. And then I bought some metal arrows to go above it and I got a little like uh, floral swag to put next to it. And Haley, I took a picture of it at Kohl's and showed it to her and I said, what do you think about this by the mirror? And she's like, mm, I'm not sure. So it was only $7 and I'm gonna have her stop over sometime and tell me if she thinks that looks good. And if it doesn't, I'll take it back because these girls know Anna's a really good decorator too. So that's been really um, kind of fun lately to redo stuff. Steve just tore the wallpaper border out of our bedroom and took the stars off the ceiling. He wasn't sure he was gonna be able to sleep with no stars on the ceiling. So the master bedroom upstairs in our great big old farmhouse is, um, it used to be Stephanie's and then it was Anna's. And in the process of all that, they put stars, like glow-in-the-dark stars, all over the ceiling. And guess what? They just were removed because, like, I don't really even care what that room looks like. But I'm going to get it redone. So, we have um, we have a lot of things going ar on around here, that's for sure. Okay, so I am watching the video on my laptop, and I'm looking okay. Well, I'm looking better than okay. I look pretty good tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Barbara. Hello, Vicki. Everybody that popped in ahead. You scroll up really, really fast. Um, so my screen looks okay. So I think my internet connection, if there was a little glitch, it's over now. Hopefully. Okay. Mm, where's my screen? I have some really cool projects to share with you tonight. It's been a very busy weekend. I had, hang on. I had to turn off my space heater that's under my desk because I'm getting a little hot. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I really am. Um, I had a card buffet yesterday. That was super fun. We had some new people join us, so that was cool. And uh, made some great cards using the new mini catalog products and also celebration products. I also gave away a door prize. That was fun. 
uh, who was it? Melanie Ruddinger was the winner, and she's from Oshkosh, and she got the Gangs All Mirror stamp set. So if you guys are local and you would like to come to my card buffet, the next one is nah, February 25th, I think. Is that a Saturday? Let me look. No, I don't know when it is, <laughs> but it's in February on a Saturday. Um, you can always find my schedule of events on my Stamping Up Demonstrator. Like when you go to place an order with me online, um, you can go look at my demonstrator website. There's an events tab, I think. It's also on my blog, www.astampabove.com. And there's an events tab at the top. If you click that, it'll take you to my calendar. You can find out when that card buffet is. I would love to have you. We have a good time at the card buffets. You get to choose from 16 different cards. So that's why we call it a buffet. 16 different cards, you get to choose eight. The price is $20 or free with a $30 order. So, hi Kathy, hi Lisa, Bonnie, Beth, welcome. Um, thank you so much. Kathy Sanford said you look marvelous and my video's looking good too, so that's a big bonus tonight, right? Hi Shelly, Debbie, Deborah. I've got a lot of people tuning in tonight, that's awesome. So, make sure that you share my video. Sharing is caring. And that really does help me out. That brings more viewers onto my channel when I go live. So that's pretty cool. I'm kind of excited to tell you guys that I do not, um, I have not been in Facebook jail in quite a while. I'm starting to think that maybe I'm good now. Um, because I just did a Facebook party for Jan Karstensen. And we've had a lot of fun with that. It's closing tomorrow at noon. But I was afraid that by all that... Um, posting that I did in her Facebook party that I would surely get put in jail again, and I didn't. So that's really good news. And um, so make sure you share my video. That really helps me out. Give me a thumbs up. Click that like button. You can do that right now. That also helps with all the internet magic. They call that, um, the technical term is the analytics, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what that means, but um, internet magic works for me, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, Make sure that you click on that like button. That also helps me out. So, this morning I gotta tell you something funny. This morning I walked into the kitchen and I don't even remember what popped into my head, but here's what I said to my husband. I said, guess what just popped into my head? And he looks at me, he's like, brains? <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. So yeah, that's what I get to live with, you guys. Uh-huh. Brains. Yeah. And I, and I honestly don't remember what popped into my head, but something did. And it must have been important because it popped right in there. <laughs> okay. A little update. What do I have coming up? I'm going to let you guys in um, and know what's going on with me. My newest online class is going to be using... Where's my catalogs? Um, I've kind of been moving things around. So it's hard to remember. I used to keep my catalogs under here, but that's hard to get at. So now I'm keeping them back here. We're going to see how that works. Um, we are going to be using the Painted Poppies, and that's on page 27 in, oh, yep, yep, right here, Painted Poppies. This is going to be my next online class. This online class will be available with pre-cut cardstock packs. Let me grab one of those. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, here is a pre-cut cardstock pack. You have everything in here to make, I think there's eight cards. This is the Peaceful Moments bundle. Eight cards and a birthday calendar, a perpetual birthday calendar portfolio. So this is what you get when you order the online class. Um, the class, this next class is gonna be Painted Poppies. And you can always find all my online classes in the on the right hand side of my blog is an online class button. Click that and you'll see all my online classes. Online classes are really fun. And so a lot of people that may be new don't know how these work. They're like, when is the class? I don't know if I'll be able to make it. Oh, you'll be able to make it because the class is all online. I provide you with a PDF file that has pictures, brief written instructions for the cards, and a link to a private video tutorial for each card 
and like for example this one had a um, portfolio in it showing you exactly how to make it so you're getting a private class in a PDF file that I emailed to you and this is an option to add on the pre-cut cardstock pack if you would like to um, and then I mail that to you in the mail so okay that's what online classes are next online class is painted poppies with a pre-cut cardstock packet if you choose to do that because there's three options you can get the online class for twenty dollars which is eight cards plus a bonus card you can get the class with the pre-cut cardstock pack for thirty five dollars or if you order the bundle from me and there is um, a select amount of products we're going to include the whisper white seam binding which is part of this suite let me see here it is the whisper white seam binding is going to be included the poppy elements we're going to be using those in this class and that's really fun and also the designer series paper and the sequins okay so if you order the whole suite stamp set dies all of those things you you fill out a form on my blog and um, I will bill you through PayPal I almost couldn't spit that out the whole thing is hundred and six dollars so you're gonna get all that product then you get the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus and the online class is free or if you're on my team you get this online class for free for being on my team and you can join me as a discount shopper any old time we've got a heck of a promotion going on right now and as long as I'm there you get this whole pack of six by six designer series paper this adorable little paper trimmer yay and any stamp set of your choice I know this is backwards but um, here let's flip the camera around because I know that can be kind of hateful there we go any stamp set of your choice for only $99 you get to choose $125 worth of product you get a free paper pumpkin free shipping and you get to be part of my team which is amazing I have an amazing team and it's a lot of fun so if you would like any information on that feel free to pop me an email kelly at a stamp above.com leaving a message in here with the thousands of messages that are going to take place tonight is not the place to contact me to get a response so email me or private message me that pops an alert up so that I know that it's there um, Sue Marie says, years ago I signed up to do this and never did anything with it. Can I do it again? Absolutely you can. I would love to have you back, Sue Marie. Um, absolutely. You can order that starter kit again. Okay. When you're on my team, you get my online classes for free. And you. I also give a special price special option to just order team members can just order the pre-cut cardstock pack and I hope that they're ordering all the product to make the cards with their own discount um, ID number right so that's what I'm hoping okay that's the painted poppies that will be announced on um, well sometime in February I'll be announcing that um, and get everything loaded onto my blog, the PayPal buttons in the three different options. The PDF file will be available on February 14th, Valentine's Day. So just sharing the love. Um, and then the other class that I do every month is my kit class. This month, we are using Birthday Bonanza. And I have to tell you, this is the funnest little suite of products ever. I have been having a blast with it. So we're going to use the Birthday Bonanza Suite. The kit is going to include the DSP, okay, and um, the Daffodil Ribbon. This is the Ruched Ribbon. Also a roll of Terran Tape and the Acetate Boxes, which I thought I had some out here, but I don't. I'll show you those a little later. The Acetate Clear Boxes, because I'm going to show you a really cute project with those, and I thought that would be a good idea to put into this kit that kit class is $45 again it comes with a PDF file with private links you're gonna get four different designs and a pre-cut cardstock pack for you to make two of each card for a total of eight cards that's gonna be announced on February 7th there's a small time frame that you can order these classes before I shut them off 
and then have to place the order to get all the product to get it here and cut these because this is kind of a, a, a big undertaking, okay? Um, but I love it. I'm not complaining, but it just takes time to get the order here and it takes time for me to get these out the door. So everybody's been so patient too, you guys. I have been hitting my deadlines on the dates that I tell you, which is kind of scary because like, what if something comes up and I can't? Like I would feel terrible. But you guys have been really patient and I really appreciate that because it does take time to get all this stuff together. Okay, um, let's see, what else do I have going on? Got the kit, I told you all about the kit. Oh, we have some winners to announce from last week. So, for um, commenting, oh, you know what? I didn't write down what these were for. Let me look, I keep track of these. Um, yep, for commenting. Okay, we've got the adorable heart doilies. Okay, there's flirty flamingo in here, real red, and then you can flip them over. They're white, and you can sponge or dauber any color you want on them to make them any color you want. So these are the heart doilies. Joanne Prosser wins these for commenting on my Facebook Live last week. And how many are in here? 40? Yep, 40. 40 hearts. Now, you don't have to wait and use these just for Valentine's Day. You can make a blue heart or um, a yellow heart and just put them on a card. They're super, super cute. So congratulations, Joanne. And then for sharing the video last week, Kathy Sheldon in Appleton, Wisconsin. Now I have two Kathy Sheldon, so I have to clarify. This is Kathy Sheldon on Matthias Street. Kathy, you are winning this new chamois. This is how we clean our stamps. And all you need to do is put it in a clear stamp case. And I just keep it in here. You take it to the sink, squeeze it under the water a few times to wash it. And um, boom, That's I keep it right on my desk. So you're gonna get a brand new chamois. Even if you already have one, it's nice to have two. And this one is so pristine, right? Until you put that first dirty stamp in it. It's kind of like, like what? Cracking open and taking off the first dimensional off a pack, right? <laughs> okay, congratulations to Kathy. And then for placing an order last week, we have the Label Me Bold stamp set. This is a really fun little background set. This is new in our um, spring mini catalog. And Misty Hoffner from Red Creek, New York, you are the winner of this stamp set. So congratulations, everybody. I am going to set these back here so I don't lose track of them. I've got some other things. I had a team meeting today. So card buffet yesterday, I got off on a tangent. Squirrel, um, a team meeting this morning and Facebook Live tonight. So I've got lots of stuff going out in the mail tomorrow. Um, when you're part of my team, whether you're a discount shopper or a business builder, if you don't look, live close to me, we do a virtual team meeting just like I'm, like I'm doing here tonight with you. So um, I broadcast our team meeting and the people that come on and watch live, just as if they were there, also get entered to win door prizes. So it's, it's pretty fun. It's actually really fun. We had a great time today. We had three really awesome demonstrations. Um, different team members volunteer to do demonstrations and they showed us some really cool fun folds. So that was um, fabulous. Okay. Um, this next week, <clears throat> I have my Wednesday tip video coming up. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. That's the best way to get those. Or my blog. There's a subscription in the right-hand column. Thursday is Paper Pumpkin. So here is, is this our newest Paper Pumpkin? I hope so. Um, newest Paper Pumpkin. Oh, yeah, it is. It comes wrapped in tissue paper just like Tiffany's, right? Just like a gift from Tiffany's. Here is our stamp set, and I can't wait to play with this. I'll be playing with this this week because on Thursday, I have a Paper Pumpkin blog hop. Now, when you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me, you get a PDF file with around 15 different ideas or alternate ideas using the current monthly kit. So it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good gig, you guys. Um, that way you have lots of ideas. You can make exactly what Stampin' Up! has given you here and the idea that they have, or you can use it and make the alternate ideas, which is really fun too. 
I love the challenge of coming up with those alternate ideas because our paper pumpkin kits are so fabulous. Now, I'm going to share... Oh, wait, I'm not done yet. Um, <laughs> I just get off on a tangent, right? Uh, blog hop on Thursday with paper pumpkin. Friday is our Totally Techniques blog hop. That's an international blog hop with demonstrators from all over the world. Our theme is simple stamping. So I'll be working on that this week also. And then on February 1st, which is next Saturday, the Stamping Society has a real treat for you. I belong to the design team for the Stamping Society, another international um, design team of Stamping Up demonstrators. <laughs> Kathy Stamford just said, squirrel, I know. And um, we are going to be giving a free tutorial. Now, this is a tutorial that I sell for $7, or when you place an order with me, I give it to you as a gift. We are going to be featuring a free tutorial for everybody. It is a year anniversary, and we want to thank everybody for following us and give back because that's what we do, right? We share. And so we're going to give a free tutorial. Everybody is picking their favorite techniques, and I am going to do a spotlighting technique. So I was working on that right before I got ready to come on here, So, I, and I have to tell you, it's turning out pretty amazing. Um, so that's going to be happening on February 1st. Okay, now for cards. I got this beautiful card in the mail. How pretty is that? This is from one of my team members, Christine, and she is thanking me for doing a presentation at her demonstrator event a couple weeks ago in Oshkosh. So thank you so much, Christine. If you are watching, this is beautiful. And then I received a card in the mail from Kathy Fennell. Look how pretty this is. These are some of our little note cards. Look at the scalloped edge on there. And Kathy is thanking me for the Coastal Weave Embossing Folder. She can't wait to use it. So love that daisy flower. Thank you guys so much. I love getting your cards. So much appreciated. All right, let me throw that back over there. Whoops, something just went sliding off the end of the table, which is not unusual. I did clean up my table a little bit just in case I flipped my camera too far so you guys aren't completely disgusted by the mess that I have going on in here. Don't worry, it'll get worse, I guarantee you. <laughs> okay, I am going to get everything ready here. What am I gonna show you first? I think we're gonna do this little flower card. Now last week, oh, I should have brought a, one of the samples in here in case you missed it, but I forgot and they're in my kitchen. Last week, I used the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set to make a really pretty little floral card. So I am going to make another card because I love having lots of different options with the same products, right? You don't want to spend money and order something and just make one card. That's kind of silly. So we are going to be making another card with this. Now, you guys know that the um, Thoughtful Blooms is a free stamp set with your $50 order. So when you spend $50, you can get this for free. It also has a Blooms, small bloom punch, and this coordinates with the flowers in the stamp set. This is also free with your $100 order. So you can get both of these. Um, you can order, get one this month, get another one next month. If you need to split it up, you do what works for you. But I'm going to show you a couple different variations. Well, I should say just different colors on this card. And let's flip this camera around. So mm, I know I needed to do something else here too. I needed to grab an embossing folder. So hang on while I find an embossing folder. I hope you guys can't see my clown pants I'm wearing. Oh, I don't see it here. Oh, nope. Well, I think we're gonna have to pick a different folder because I can't find the one that I want. Okay, so we're gonna flip this camera around and we're gonna start stamping. Are you guys ready to stamp? I'm ready to stamp. Oh, somebody else is easily distracted. I can't see your whole message there, but it looks like it might be funny. <laughs> Okay, hang tight. I'm gonna flip you around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes right now and I will tell you when to open them back up. You can see my new ceiling fan. Make sure I don't touch. That's a complete disaster. 
I did that one time where I shut you guys all off. That was really fun and frustrating. Okay, I need to unmirror my screen, so hang tight. All the things that need to happen here. And are we straight? I think we're straight. Okay. Whew. All right, thoughtful bloom. So I love these little elements because you can do so many things with them. They're a lot of fun. And so many different color combinations because you have like one, two, three, four, five, six little flowers in here. So that's really cool too. I'm going to bring out my layers. Oops, hang on, it's stuck in there. I got lots of things stuck in here. And I need to get some dimensionals out. I don't think I put any up here. Here we go. All right, you guys, you know the drill. What are you drinking tonight? Well, hi, Heather Kohler. I see Elizabeth is on here too now. And Luba, welcome. Okay, I have got a card base. This is eight and a half, whoops, eight and a half by five and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. We're going to bring in that bone folder. I'm going to get, I like to do this on my hard table versus my mat here. For those of you that might be new, this is a piercing mat. We sell these and I just wrap it with printer paper and tape it on there so I don't stamp all over the mat itself. I'm just gonna put that up here. And now I've got a piece of whisper white cardstock. Card bases are made out of thick cardstock. Our layers that we stamp on are a different cardstock that's got like kind of a um, finish on it that makes stamping absolutely beautiful. And then I've got a scrap of Whisper White. I am going to bring in my Petal Pink ink pad. And I'm going to stamp three flowers on the scrap of Whisper White. Just like that. And then um, we're going to punch these out with the small blooms punch. Let's see how good I can get. Let's see how much caffeine Kelly's had this afternoon because I'm a little shaky. So when I got done with the team meeting today, which went really good, like I love getting together with the girls and even the people um, that are online, I think had a really good time today. I came home and I took a little nap because I had to get up. Like I don't like to get up early. You guys know I'm a night owl, right? And so I had to get up early this morning to go to my meeting. So I came home and took a nap, which was divine. And now I'm full of energy and other things that I probably can't say online because I might get put back in Facebook jail for, yeah, you know. Oh, I think I need some minis. Hang on. Oh, will that fit on here? I don't want that sticking out. But it's close, you guys. It's really close. So if you don't have any mini dimensionals, maybe we need to get some. Um, I'm going to put big dimensionals on here. But anyways, I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm so just rejuvenated. I feel great. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in Mossy Meadow. Oh, by the way, I will show you another card at the end made with different colors. This card was designed by one of my friends and team members, Sarah Simon. So um, kudos to Sarah for this card because it was, it's just adorable. I'm using Mossy Meadow ink with this swirly leaf design here. And first thing you want to do is start right in the middle, okay? And then we're going to go to either side. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit because I don't want it to look real uniform. Now, I'm watching the center to keep it all in a line. And when I made my first card, I kind of messed that up. So um, I thought I better tell you guys about that. Okay, so... We've got center, 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 pretty darn close. Now we're going to come in with this little spriggy leaf deal. Ice water. Who's drinking ice water? Woo! Yeah. Stamps are flying. I probably have dirt on it now. I know you'd find this shocking that my floor might be dirty in my office. <laughs> yeah, it's covered in dimensionals is what it is. Um, okay. We're going to just take this little sprig and you're just going to kind of put it in between things. And you want at least one little sprig on each one of your um, swirly leafy deals. <laughs> you guys love my crazy 
making up words all the time. Yeah. And I'm going to bring out my chamois. I know Kathy Sheldon's going to love her new chamois. What else? I didn't clean this stamp yet. Okay, so now we're done with that. We're going to bring in the craziest color, Cherry Cobbler. Now, where did I come up with this color combination? Well, I went out online and did a search for thoughtful blooms to see different color combinations and decide what I might like to use. And this was one of the combinations I found in a totally different card. Now, if you stand up, you're going to see that these match up with this little leaf. So, and I'm trying to stand over it without sticking my head in the camera. But I do have to tell you guys that I did cover all my grays this morning, so my hair is looking good. I am rocking this no gray look. <laughs> Just a little too much information perhaps, but that's how I roll. Okay, next I'm going to take this little tiny flower and I'm going to stamp off and add that to the end of some of these little spriggy deals. The, the swirly leaf one. And just any place you think you want a little flower. And notice that I haven't screwed it up yet. <laughs> like I'm waiting to not stamp off and that's going to throw the whole thing right out the window. It won't really be that bad. Just don't let me not stamp off. One more. Woo! Oh, look. It's way far away. That's okay. Um, if people want perfection, they need to buy a Hallmark because this is made with love, right? All right, now I'm going to take this. And somebody has a birthday. I missed who had a birthday, but happy birthday, Heather. Happy birthday. Love the birthday. So you guys know what I got my husband for his birthday, right? I actually bought him a cruise. <laughs> And we're leaving next Saturday. I'm so excited. I don't remember the last time I was like, so excited for a trip. Like, I need to get out of here. And we're going to, if you missed it, I might have told you guys this, but we're going to Cozumel, Mexico, Belize City, Belize, and Roatan, Honduras. And we found out that one of his buddies that he used to work with actually winters in Honduras. So we're going to try and look them up. And see if we can't spend some time with them. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Okay, we're going to add this to our card front. Pretty, pretty. And then I have my um, rhinestones here. And my cherry cobbler dark. Stampin' Blend Marker. Now, you can use these or Sharpies, but you can't use regular markers on non-porous surfaces because they won't dry. Somebody asked that question last week, and I actually missed it during the live, but they don't dry. That's why you have to use these. You have to use a marker that's going to dry on a non-porous surface. Look at how pretty those are. Ugh. I hadn't actually done this part, but look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? Yeah. Okay. Now, the other thing as I'm looking at this, I wonder if I could peel this off quick. And you're, are you going, oh my gosh, Kelly, what are you doing? Well, sometimes I change my mind about things. And so I just changed my mind about this. And nobody will ever see this, so you don't need to panic. But I decided that I want to do a little flicking on here. And I think I'm going to do some black flicking. You might want to do this before you put your um, flowers on. But I'm just going to take my Stampin' Right marker. This is a black Stampin' Right marker. Not to be confused with a Stampin' Blend, which is an alcohol marker. And I'm just going to do a little flicking. I just want to tone down that background and add a little interest. Isn't that cool? My friend Dina does that a lot. And it just really does jazz up your card. Okay, we're going to stick this back on here. No harm, no foul. And um, congratulations to the winners of the football games last weekend because I know you guys are excited. I was really excited to be seeing. I wanted to see my Packers in um, the Super Bowl, but that didn't happen. But teams that won deserve to be there, right? Okay, so I'm going to do... 
some little flowers here. Notice I do the one in the middle first, and then I'm gonna do one way out there, and then in between. And that just helps you to be able to space them. It makes it easier to space them, okay? And then I'm going to grab this red, and I gotta stand up again, and put that little flower right in the center. It fits in there just perfectly, and it's so cute and adorable. Oh, look, I just stuck my finger in it. It's red, of course I stuck my finger in it. <laughs> you can't get away without getting red all over. Again, this is Cherry Cobbler. Look how pretty that is, right? Oh, I almost threw my card in it too. Okay, let me close these up because we have an envelope and I would like to do something special to the envelope and I wish I could find, oh, I know my embossing folder is out in the kitchen that I wanted to use. So I'm just gonna grab a different one here. I wanted to use the Parisian embossing folder because it's so, so pretty, but I think I am going to bring in this country floral. That's gonna be really pretty. Let me put this back and grab my big shot bring that in here. This is like an afterthought. I didn't plan on doing this, so that's why I'm kind of not ready for it. All right. Um, we're going to take our envelope and we're going to put our flap in here. So I'm just putting it in here, closing this, and I'm going to run it through. Now, this is one of the older folders, so I don't need the blue plate. But if you order this as a new folder, Country Floral, you do need the blue plate to run this through because it's remanufactured with a new... Oh, that's not moving. Oh, take that out. If you ever feel like it's too tight, take that out too. So just one plate. My Lord, you guys. I didn't know that was in there. Um, if you ever feel like it's way too tight, back it off because something is probably wrong with your stacking order. And you just saw it. We do it all the time where we're like, oh, I didn't realize that was in there. Then I'm going to bring this magic to you because this is, who is not going to just die looking at this beautiful envelope, right? So here is our pretty little card. Wow. Gorgeous. What do you guys think? Who's in love? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me put this stuff away. We're going to get ready for our next card here. Again, this is the Small Bloom Punch and the Thoughtful Blooms. You can only get these free with qualifying orders. $50 free, $100 free. So, um, like I said, you may want to order one this month and then order one next month. And, oh, wait. I'm not done. What was I thinking? I'm like looking at my supplies here, and this is why I have the supplies here, so I know kind of what I'm doing most of the time. I got this. Why did I get this out? Well, we need a little label. So I am going to grab some cherry cobbler cardstock, and I just need a little piece here. Oh, I just threw that all over the place. It's funny what you do when you're in a hurry, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me get this up here where you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, Angie says it's clear as crystal there. Excellent. So I'm using an embossing buddy. And in Wisconsin in the winter when it's really cold out, we have a lot of static cling. And an embossing buddy takes the static out so that when I stamp this with Versamark ink, my embossing powder is only going to stick to where I stamped it. And so here we go. You can barely see that, right? And now we're gonna add some white embossing powder. See how nice that looks? Yeah, very pretty. And then we're gonna close this up before we spill it. These are the nice little containers that Jamie gave to me. These are from um, Target. They're called Systema. They're low pro profile and I really like them. They lock together. Good job, Jamie and gift appreciated. Oh, by the way, speaking of gifts, look at, I have my shotgun shell bracelet on. I've got, can you guys see this? This is my shotgun shell necklace. I hope you can see that. And I have my shotgun shell earrings on that were also a gift. Yay, I love them. Okay, hit this with the heat tool. Through the magic of TV, I've already done that. 
and we're going to take our classic label punch and punch this out. And that's where I need the baby dimensionals. So let me grab some baby dimensionals. Here's some right here. I keep a little basket right by my desk with all kinds of little goodies in it. Whoops, <laughs> I didn't get them. Um, I have, oh, let me show you. I have mini glue dots in here. I've got all the ends and bits and pieces from classes, so I like to use those up, so I keep those in here. Um, I've got spoons to smooth out the ink when I re-ink. I've got some tear and tape in here, some post-it notes, mini glue dots, the extra ends for my take your pick tool, those refills, I keep those right in here. And then I've got some um, erasers that help me when I make boo-boos. And what is this? Oh, and my Stampin' Up! pin. Those are real diamonds. That's for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars in sales. Woohoo! Okay, now, um, back to our project. <laughs> I got two dimensionals on here. And da -da -da -da. there we go. Now, I thought that cherry cobbler would look really good. This would really pop on here. There! Now it's done, you guys. All right, do you want to see Sarah's card? Because hers is really pretty, too. Here is Sarah's, and she used Granny Apple Green, Balmy Blue for the Little Flowers, Mango Melody. She used the Champagne. Those are the new rhinestones in the Parisian Suite. And then I think Cherry Cobbler stamped off once, or Rococo Rose, maybe. I'm not sure about that one, but um, granny apple green and then white embossing powder. And this sentiment, let's celebrate you, that comes from the birthday bonanza stamp set. So isn't that pretty? Yeah, did we do anything? Oh, look at the inside. How pretty is that? So I didn't even realize that I had something on the inside, but there we go. So um, this says, congratulations. I really love the font on this. And then decorate up your envelopes to make them look super pretty. That is so elegant, right? Okay, I'm going to keep cleaning up here so we can get to the next project. Embossing buddy. I'll keep these. Oh, here was the other dimensionals that I couldn't find when I was scrambling, right? And always know that the dimensions that I share with you on these projects will be posted on my blog later tonight or tomorrow morning. They will also be posted to, um, once this video is done being live, I share it on the same page where you found it, and I go in and edit above the video. I can type in a bunch of stuff. I'll put links to my online store, links to my YouTube channel, links to the blog post where you can go and find still photos of these and all the dimensions, and a complete shopping list or ingredient list showing all the colors, you know, like on um, the rhinestones and what the punch is called and all of those things is also on my blog after I get done with this. Now, you guys have to be patient because it takes me some time to get all that stuff loaded. It's not um, an easy undertaking, so just know that. Okay, I'm going to put these aside and then look at what we're using. I'm excited about this. This is a cool project. This is a project that we did today for my team meeting. And I think you guys are absolutely gonna love it. Oh my god, I got tear and tape everywhere. Well, not everywhere. That was an exaggeration. That was being a little over dramatic, Kelly. Okay, I've got this and one of these. And I've got lots of dimensionals. Here's crushed curry ink. I've got a sponge dauber. We are bringing in some doilies, the stamp set, and let's see. Okay, here's my layers. All right, I think we're ready. Hang on, what was I just going to look for? Um, i got to think about this for a second. I don't know. I have no idea what I was looking for. <laughs> okay, so... This is the golden, oh, I know. This is the golden honey specialty designer series paper, okay? Now, here is the whole stamp set. 
and um, I've shown you guys this before. I did a tip video on how to set your Stamparatus up to use it as a template for making multiple cards, which is a really, really cool idea. So, oh, I see somebody uh, paid tribute to Kobe Bryant. Yes, um, so sad for his family. Him and his daughter today were um, lost in a plane crash, so that was pretty sad. Right? Big, big hugs to them. How tragic. This is the little honeybee in the die. Isn't that just stinking adorable? And this paper is free with your $50 order. So if you order this bundle, and I think it's like 41 something, if you order the bundle and some other things, some doilies, you're going to need some crushed curry. How about um, daffodil? This is a dark daffodil delight. Stampin' Blend marker, some tear and tape, some acetate boxes. Yeah, if you order those, you can get this paper free. So your order just needs to get up to $50. So what I'm going to show you is, first of all, we're going to make a card. And let me get all my bits and pieces out here. This is some of the specialty paper. And I've got two pieces here, and I'm looking for my dimensions, which are missing. Okay, so Kelly has a ruler and she knows how to use it. <laughs> we will do that. I, th I did have dimensions here, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. This piece of designer series paper is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this piece of, just look at that, that's foil. So pretty. This piece is one and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then we've got our card base, which is basic black. That's five and a half by eight and a half. And I see that my screen is not scrolling again. So if I missed your questions, you guys, I'm really sorry. Sylvia says that using the Stamparatus for the honeybee turns out great, and it does. And I'm going to show you guys again, super simple, how I did this because it's just an amazing little technique. Okay, we are going to, first of all, do a little bit to the paper. And this is kind of neat. You can take a stamp and blend marker and I just want to color in the centers on my flowers. Now if you want to color your flowers all colors that's fine. You can do whatever you want. It's your card. I'm also going to come in and just color a few of these white hexagons with the dark daffodil delight stamp and blend marker. Where else? Um, that's going to get covered up anyways. Mm, how about one of these over here? There we go. Now, as the alcohol ink dries, you won't see that I just scribbled over that and didn't stay perfectly in the white area. So it's kind of a cool little thing that goes on there. Now, you're going to glue your white layer down first. And remember that your alcohol markers do bleed through to the other side, but it doesn't matter because we're covering it up, right? And I'm going to glue this layer down and just leave that eighth inch border around both sides and the top. And Melanie Morris says she loves coloring DSP. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can do a whole bunch of different things with this. Now this black layer is going to overlap just a tiny bit. Okay. And then we're going to, oh no, somebody took their black ribbon patty. I was going to replace her black satin ribbon. So I had black satin ribbon today, but I ran out. So Patty brought hers, and I forgot to say anything to her about that, that I would replace it. But I took a piece of satin ribbon, and I put it on the inside, and I attached it right here because we're going to use a circle. And I'm going to punch that circle out of two and a quarter inch circle punch. And don't worry, I'll show you the card with the ribbon on it when we're done here. I completely forgot to say anything to her that I would replace her ribbon if I could just have it. <laughs> and we did use it because we used up, oh, I can't even make my box either. Well, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. We'll get it figured out. I am good running by the seat of my pants. I don't run. I'm really not a runner. <laughs> I just want to make that perfectly clear. <laughs> if you see me running, you should run too because something's chasing me and it's not good. All right, so I just took that celebrate every moment and put it right here. Now I'm going to grab one of these pretty little doilies. These are our pearlized doilies. So 
one side of them has a pearl sheen on it. It's really, really pretty. I hope you can see that in the camera. The other one is just white. It's plain old white. I'm going to actually use the opposite side. So not the pearl side, but the um, white side. And I'm bringing in a sponge dauber here. And we're going to color this so that it's crushed curry and it matches the whole theme of my card. So our sponge daubers come five in a pack. And I think they're five dollars. They're really good ones too. And they have a little, whoops, they have um, an empty end so you can stick your finger on there so you can hold them better. And I'm just going to come in here and sponge some color on around the outside of this doily. The inside doesn't matter because we're going to cover it up with that circle punch, right? So it doesn't matter if you do that or not. And you can keep adding more color to this to make it darker, or you can leave it light like this. It's your card. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm going to close. Well, I'll leave that open for now. Then we're going to take this circle, and I just spread some glue around in here. Even though it's like got all the holes in it, it'll be fine. I'm just going to put some glue in there. And... Since we don't have any black ribbon, I'm just going to stick this right on here. And just center. I'm centering this and making sure that my words are straight here. Next thing we're going to do is we need these elements. So this is the cool thing that I do with my Stamparatus. I have already set up... This is just a scrap piece of cardstock. So what I did is I set my stamps down on here and I closed my plate and then it sticks to them, right? And then I have, hang on, Kelly lost some stuff. I'm wondering if I don't have the right bin here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, don't worry. We got it under control. I'm going to take this now. I had these all cut, but I don't... I must have put them someplace else, I guess. I don't know. Huh. And then we're going to take that big bee, this honey bee, or that um, hive, and the little bee. So we're going to die cut all of these in the big shot. Ooh, it's sticking to that magnet. Look at it. Woo! Crazy. Hang tight. I'll bring my big shut in here. And of course, you guys know I'm sitting here going, where did those dies go? Because I have a bunch of them cut already. But I don't know. So like I said, fly by the seat of my pants. I can do this. It's just paper, right? <laughs> okay, here comes. Now, did you guys know? Well, I'm, I'll am i save that for some other time. Um, we're just going to cut these. Now I've got you intrigued, don't I? <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, I would cut up a whole bunch of these just in white because that makes making multiple cards a lot easier. It's a lot easier than stamping these and taking them to your die cutting machine and trying to keep them on there straight so that when you actually run it through, they don't move, right? That can be a big source of frustration. So I've got this in here. I'm gonna drop my pieces, my die cut pieces into place. One stamping is gonna take care of all three of them. And I've got black right here for my bumblebees. And we're gonna clean that off. Hang on. This baby wipe isn't very wet anymore. Try that again, Kelly. hungry again. Who's hungry? What did you guys have for supper? So Steve, this is um, crushed curry. Steve made chicken stir fry with rice and oh my gosh, it was very, very good. I do have to say that I like the beef stir fry that he made the other day better, but I'm not complaining. They were both really good. Okay. Black crushed curry. Make sure everything's in place. Bam. Now, can you see yourself just cutting a whole bunch of white ones? 
and setting up a template like this so that you can do this with ease, like total ease. That was so simple, right? All right, next, I am going to drop this back in here because I've got a greeting or a sentiment that I want to be on my beehive. Ink that up with black ink. Bam, thinking of you, sweet friend. Sweet, right? Now, I just take my um, chamois. My chamois getting kind of dry here and just wipe off my everything. Put this in here like this. You don't store this like that, okay? You have to pop this out and just lay it on top. You don't wanna break your hinges, which would be really hard to do because they're pretty tough. I've never broken a hinge, so, but I don't store it like that with the hinges either. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Now I'm gonna bring back that Daffodil Stampin' Write marker and I'm gonna color in my honeybee butt. Honeybee butt, honeybee butt. Yep, honeybee butt. There we go, just three stripes, two stripes. We're ready to roll. Now we're gonna come in with dimensionals. Dimensional. And let's see, what does my other one look like? Oh yeah, that one gets a dimensional too. And this gets dimensionals. All right, we're going to bring the big B in here to put on our card, just like that, isn't it pretty? And then I have an inside layer here. Hmm. Oh, I know, let's see, do I have, let's do a flower and I'll grab a block. One of these pretty little flowers. Now you could stamp any sentiment in here. Whoops, I got something on there. Any sentiment in here that you want, but I'm just gonna stamp this flower right down here at the bottom so that I can write anything I need. This is gonna go in the inside of my card. There we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Then, I'm gonna show you how to make a little box, and since I am out of satin black ribbon, I don't know that I have another option here, you guys. So I'm gonna show you with a different um, theme, a little box with a different theme, so hang tight. We're gonna set this aside for a minute. Oh, maybe I did, oh, you know what? I think I did a box. Well, yeah, I did. Okay, we're good, we're all good. Now, I wanted to make a little treat favor or a gift card holder. You could use it for anything that will fit in it. And when I get done tonight, I'm gonna put a picture on my blog that shows you the gift that I gave to my friend. So, my friend Terry has a um, um, bacon party every quarter. It's just a fun get together. Everybody has to bring a dish that has bacon in it. And her party was last Friday night, and it's also her birthday in January. So I decided that I was going to give her one of my cards. You guys have all seen these, these meerkat cards, right, that I made? I was going to give her one of these meerkat cards, but I needed a little treat holder. I don't know what these are doing in there. I needed a little treat holder because I bought her a pop socket for the back of her phone and it says, you can't make, I can't make everyone happy. I'm not bacon. <laughs> and I thought how appropriate for her bacon party. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you this little box that I made for her and then I'll show you one with the honeybee too because they're really, really cute. Now I've got a piece of cardstock here or um, this is the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. And I forgot that this one is not scored, so let me see if I can find my paper cutter. Hang on, I'm under the desk. Oh, there it is. Crawling under the desk. I'm glad I'm still, you know, can do that. <laughs> Let's put it right side up, Kelly. And we are going to score this at, get your cutting blade out of the way, you don't want to cut it. We're going to score this at two and three quarters and three and a quarter. Okay, 
then we're going to fold down those score lines. Oops, where's my other score line? Okay, so what we end up with is this. Then I took our acetate card boxes. These are boxes you can fit like four or six cards and envelopes in each one of these boxes. They just pop up and you put the ends in, right? You get 10 of these in a pack, I think for $7. They're a really good deal. I took and cut one in half. So I, I um, you can cut it with your cutter. You may have to run it back and forth a couple times. But I cut one in half, and then I'm going to pop this together on those score lines. Hang on, my screen is not scrolling with your comments again. There we go. So if I missed anything, you guys, I apologize. Oh my gosh, there were so many. All right, here we go. So we've done that. Now you're just gonna take this and drop it in your half box, okay? Boom, just like that. Then you're gonna bring your tear and tape in and it's really important to have something really sturdy. You're gonna start here on one side about an inch from the edge or so, just like this. Now, the other thing I wanna notify you or let you know of is that this paper does not go all the way to the top of this box. It's down just a little bit. You don't want your tear and tape to go beyond the paper. So push it down in there so you can see where it ends. And you're gonna do a strip just like this and tear it off, okay? You're gonna do the same thing on the other side, about an inch in from the side and down just a tiny, tiny bit. Just like that. Okay. Then, you wanna make sure that's pushed on here good. I'm going to grab, hang on, I'm having a hot flash. Woo! It is hot here. <laughs> I'm going to grab my terracotta tile because that matches the colors in this paper. And my take your pick tool is right here. And we're gonna, you have to peel off, oops, hang on, it didn't stick. You have to peel off all the backing, which can make it a little trickier to deal with, but don't put this on paper. You wanna get your paper out of the way because if you set it down on your hard surface, you can pull it up, right? Just a little tip there. You're gonna need 24 inches of ribbon, whatever ribbon you choose to use. You're gonna start on the bottom of the box and bring it up like this. Does that look straight? Yep, that looks good. And then you're gonna do this. 24 inches of ribbon. You're gonna make a little like handle and then loop it over here. So that's about how much you wanna leave up there. Bring this down and again onto your tear and tape. And then here's another one. And when you get back to the end here, we are going to cut this off. And that's where your mini glue dots come in. Now, today we I did this as a demonstration at my team meeting. And people said, well, couldn't you use tear and tape for here too? Yes, you could, but I just find a mini glue dot is easier for me to deal with than a tiny piece of tear and tape. So you certainly could. But that finishes that up. And then you can take, um, hmm, I don't know. Where my stamp set went. Well, that's interesting. Um, let me just bring this in. Oh, hmm. Another year of sensational. Hang on, you guys. Meerkats. The game's all near. Here it is. Well, I put the little bugger away. Why would I do that? I don't know. Here comes our little meerkat. And then I've got some early espresso ink here. So we're going to bring in, this is a stitched shape oval. And I'm going to bring in, you want to do your sentiment first, okay? So here comes the sentiment. 
And then I'm going to stamp this little meerkat guy. Isn't he just super, super cute? And then we're going to grab our bronze stamp and write marker. Oh, I do have those out here. I don't know why I put the stamp sets away. Like, I don't know, perhaps I was having a delusion. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. I like the bronze for this, and I go around his eyeballs first so I don't color them in. I, I want them to stay white. It just looks kind of neat. There we go. And then I've got Crumb Cake Light. And I'm just going to come down here and color the ground that's around him. And I just kind of scribble it a little bit. We're going to add that to a scalloped oval. And that is terracotta tile. So it matches our ribbon. And some dimensionals on the back. A couple of them will do. That'll be perfect. Like how I flick those? <laughs> I do too. And look at this. Look at how stinking adorable that is. Now, you're going to put a little bit of tissue paper in there. Um, let's see. I have a little piece right here. I think this will work. You can wrap this around a gift card. You can put some earrings in here. I, like I said, put a pop socket. It's on a little card. I put a pop socket in here for my friend. That was her gift. And you just pop this pop your gift card or your whatever earrings or candy even put some candy in there look how cute that is then I have matching cards got all these cards that I've made and she thought this was stinking adorable and of course it is so let me show you the other one um, oh my gosh I've got a good mess going on here the here is the honeybee one with the black. Okay, I did the same exact thing. I just used black satin ribbon. And we are going to bring the beehive in here. And we're going to put that on the front. And then I've got this bee with another dimensional on it, one of the littler bees. And I'm going to put that right there. And again, put some tissue paper in it. This is a great gift card holder if you're going to be delivering um, the present or spend the extra money on postage and put this in a padded envelope. This is pretty hard. I don't think you're going to crush it, but this is a really cute way for somebody to get a little padded envelope in the mail. If you guys have received um, prizes from me, you know that I have these fun little padded envelopes. You could certainly fit both of these things in here with some candy or a little gift and won't your friends and family be just so touched by that? that you took the extra effort and paid a little bit more to mail their birthday card. Let's face it, you didn't have to buy them a present, right? <laughs> so you saved a little cash there. Um, don't forget to stamp up your envelope to make it match. I will do that in a little bit. Then I've got some more here to show you. Um, this is the same one that I just made. So we've got, now I've got two of them. This is with the birth, this is the birthday bonanza paper. This is with the balloons. Isn't that just adorable? And then I made some for Valentine's Day. So look at that. This is with our heart punch. And what I thought I could do with these is put some of these Kit Kats. These are Valentine Kit Kats in here and give this little treat to the kids or I can leave one for my husband. I can take this on our cruise and leave it on his pillow at night because we're used to getting pillow gifts when we go on Stampin' Up! trips and when you don't get those, you really miss them. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a thing. But yeah, I think I need a Kit Kat because I've done, I think, pretty okay with all the blunders I've had tonight. What do you guys think? Here's one with the foil, the red foil paper. Again, this is the From the Heart designer series paper. Here's another B one. Here's my B. Oh, that's the same one. There's my B card. Here I've got another one. Oh, I forgot one thing. We've got these holiday rhinestone basic jewels. That's what they're called. Holiday rhinestone basic jewels. And if I can be smart enough to open the package, <laughs> these crushed curry ones, I think are perfect add a little rhinestone to your card. Yeah, you guys like that? Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's have, um, where did that bag go? Right here, I like to kind of keep everything together again. 
boy, for such a kind of a mess that I made, I did pretty good, huh? <laughs> All right, and then we have these cards too. And don't forget, emboss the flap on your envelope. That's such a pretty look. This is that Honey Bee. This is called Golden Bee Specialty Designer Series Paper. And you can see the gold foil on this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. There's gold foil on there. It's so pretty. Now, you can color these other things on here, too. You can color the bee on here. You can color the flowers and the flowers and this. You could color these Honey Bee things if you want, the honeycomb. But um, this has coordinating colors of black, gold foil, and whisper white. And then, let's see if I can find my, here's my birthday bonanza designer series paper that, this is just the stinking adorablest paper ever. So is the bees. I mean, let's face it, Stampin' Up! knocked it out of the park with their designer series paper for this um, celebration and mini catalog. Like, it's in so incredibly beautiful, cute. Um, I absolutely love it. And I'm just scrolling up now so we can see. Oh, Wendy said she's never seen embossing the envelope flap before. I did a whole video on one of my tip videos with different embossing folders, Wendy. Um, it's, yeah, it's such a really cool, elegant thing to do, don't you think? I thought so, too. All right, so get yourself some acetate boxes. If you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. You can head over to my blog. The address is right here. In the right-hand column, it is an online ordering button. Click that, and it'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. Please use this host code if you're placing an order. Um, I will be changing the host code at the end of this week or maybe in a couple days even so that I have it for getting ready when I'm gone. Um, so if you go to enter the host code and it doesn't work, don't panic. Just put your order through. I'll fix it when I get back. It's not a big deal. Um... Use that host code only if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, please don't use this code. You're going to get some special benefits from Stampin' Up! I definitely want you to have those benefits. And don't forget, you can become a discount shopper. If you are a serious stamper, you should be getting your products at a discount. You can become a discount shopper for only $99. You get to choose $125 of anything you want out of both of our catalogs. And you get a paper pumpkin kit. That's another $20 value and free shipping. That's worth $12.50 if you were to put in a $125 order. You're going to get this mini paper trimmer, the designer series paper sampler, and you can choose any stamp set of your choice. Pick the bees. Pick the birthday bonanza. Anything that you can buy for a stamp set. Now, you can't choose the Gangs All Mirror because you can't buy that. You can only earn that with your $50 order. But once you order your kit, you can then go in and place an order using your discount and get all the same benefits that you get right now as a customer, only better. On the right-hand side of my blog address right here is a $99 kit button. Click on that and you're going to see all the details, everything that's involved. There is no strings attached. You get to be part of my team and we have a lot of fun. I have a private Facebook group that my team gets to be a part of. I have a monthly team meeting that no matter where you live in the United States or Alaska or Hawaii, you can virtually attend our team meetings. They're a lot of fun. And um, there's just so many benefits to being on my team, I can't even explain. You get my online classes for free. So if you're ordering a lot of online classes from me, you're paying $20, $35 a piece. You can get the online class for free and then order the pre-cut cardstock packs that if, like I don't sell those separately for my kit classes except to my team. So there's a special link for that. If you have any questions about any of this, don't hesitate to email me. Instead of www, it's kelly at astampabove.com. I would be happy to discuss it with you. You do not have to build a business. You can simply use this for the discount. I have a ton of discount shoppers on my team. I do have business builders also, but I do not discriminate. There is no discrimination here at astampabove.com. So just know that. 
All right, I'm going to look and see if I missed any. Um, Charlotte says she loves the baby room pictures. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to flip you around because I don't like talking to your back. Hang on. Whoops, did I just screw something up? Oh, there you go. You can see my TV playing. Oh, yeah, here I am. I thought I made a mistake and clicked something I shouldn't have. I don't like talking to the back of your head. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, whoops, hang on. We have a Tierra incident. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, I will be, for the most part, unavailable next week. Starting on the 1st, I'll be back on the 8th. So I will not be live on February 2nd. So next Sunday, I'm going to be on a ship. <laughs> I can't hardly wait. I so need a vacation. Um, I will miss you guys dearly though. And you know, you're like, yeah, whatever. She's going on a ship. She's not going to miss us. I really will miss you because I love doing this Facebook live. I love sharing my passion for paper crafts with you. I am going to miss you. But um, I'm hoping that I'll have time to do a Facebook Live, not live. So for those of you that are new and may not know what that is, that's where I go onto a private Facebook page and I record a whole class like this, like I did tonight. And I will post it at 7 p.m. Central Time on the 2nd of February so that you don't miss me as much as I'm going to miss you. Yeah, I'm going to try to get that in. I've got a crazy deadlines this week and I have two stamp clubs going on on Monday and Tuesday so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that yes know that if you came in late you can watch the replay as soon as I'm done yakety yakking at you you can um you can fast forward in here too I got a comment from a lady the other day that said too much talking and not enough doing you have all the power my dear you have all the power first of all not to watch me hi Michelle Davis Secondly, you have the power to fast forward through all the yakking and get to the doing. So you do that. And thank you for your comment. <laughs> all right, you guys, have a great week. Come back on Wednesday, tip video. Um, Thursday, paper pumpkin blog hop. Friday, totally techniques blog hop. Sunday, I'll hopefully have a Facebook Live, not live. And then the next week on the 1st, Stamping Society. So um, even when I'm gone, I'm working. I know. I love my job. I love doing what I do. Okay, you guys, have a wonderful week. What time is it? 8.18. I did really good tonight, right? Um, okay, I'm just reading comments here. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you, Patty. Thanks, Susan. I appreciate it. Sue Marie, thank you so much. We're going to have a blast. Steve is so jacked about this trip, too. He went out shopping today. I told you that, didn't I? He said he was running a little short on cash, so I gave him my credit card. I don't have a credit card. I have a debit card. I gave him my debit card to go shopping today. I didn't even ask him how much he spent, but he bought three pairs of shoes and two or three pairs of pants and I think maybe some shirts. I don't know. doesn't matter. We're going to have a blast. All right. Yakking. Sharon, do you like that? Yak, 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 right? I'm good at that. La, la, la. My mom is too. I know you probably find that shocking. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Trisha says, personally, I love hearing you yakking. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I know it annoys some people, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> Have a great couple weeks, you guys. I will be back on the Sunday on the 9th. So, and I'll be nice and tan and refreshed and ready to rock and roll. Have a good one. Bye-bye.